third crew member for today's mission is mission specialist Alper Izarache. Through this mission, Alper becomes the first Turkish astronaut to go to space. With 15 years of experience across a myriad of aircraft for the Turkish Air Force, Izarache got his start in the Air Force Academy in Istanbul, Turkey, and earned a master's degree from the U.S. Air Force Institute of Technology. He then flew as a commercial airline captain for several years before returning to duty in the Turkish Air Force. This mission also marks the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Republic of Turkey. And when that dragon capsule now, I think, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but they end up in white rooms. They end up on orbit. They end up um, on laptops and notebooks. It's a very big deal for crew to be central in helping design this patch because it's such a lasting mark of their dedication and hard work. And the ministry, as well as the Swedish National Space Agency, in tandem with ESA. And I also want to thank the team. If you're listening to this through an earpiece sitting in Hangar X and Launch Control or in Hawthorne and Mission Control, you're on the team. And the same is true of people who will be sitting at those consoles and consoles just like them and uh, Mission Control in Houston and the Payload Operations and Integration Center in Huntsville. Same is true for all the trainers that helped us get uh, where we are today with the crew ready to launch. And of course the engineers, technicians, managers and executives who over decades will be able to see those clamp arms begin to open. And there they are now. And then that strong back will retract a couple degrees away. It will retract even further upon ignition of the engines to clear the way for Falcon 9's ascent. As I mentioned before, RP-1 is completely loaded onto the vehicle. We're still loading liquid oxygen onto the first and second stage. And obviously some happy cheers as the crowd is growing outside of Mission Control Hawthorne, as you see there on your screen. It's always awesome to have uh, an astronaut launch, but especially one during the day. <laughs> Stage one locks load is complete. With that confirmation, we know that stage one is fully loaded. Team is thrilled to hear that news behind me. At liftoff stage one, combined between that RP1. Dragon is in terminal count and is on internal power. There is confirmation that Dragon is on internal power and headed into the final minutes of our countdown. As I was saying earlier at liftoff, Falcon 9 will be burning nearly 700 gallons of fuel per second. Great views there too of our crew inside Dragon, awaiting liftoff just over two minutes from now. We're now standing by for completion of locks load on the second stage. Just topping off. And there's that call out. And more cheers from our crowd here in at Hawthorne, California. Dragon is in auto idle. Confirmation there that Dragon is in auto idle. Wow, great view of 39A on your screen right there as we head toward launch. Gas close up started, expect loud venting. Call out to our crew there that loud venting is expected. Falcon 9 is in startup. There's that confirmation. Dragon is in countdown. Confirmation that Falcon 9 is in startup and Dragon is in countdown, which means that the vehicles are now controlling the final seconds as we lead up to liftoff. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. And there's confirmation from our flight director. Go for launch. 
We are go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, engine full power, and the stop. So action three. Further beyond, opening the door for more to follow. Godspeed AX3. Stage one propulsion is nominal. If you are just joining us, this is the launch of the Axiom 3 launch to the International Space Station. Those incredible views on your screen, and there's our first shot of the AX-3 crew inside Dragon on ascent. Now in just a few seconds here, we should hear the call out that Falcon Not 9... Power and telemetry. Stage 1 throttle down. There's that call out that Falcon mm -hmm. 9's engines are throttling down to help us pass through the period of maximum dynamic pressure during ascent. Max Q. There's that call out for max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And that Falcon 9 is going faster than the speed of sound. Now at this point, we will begin to throttle Falcon 9's engines back Stage up. Stage one throttle up. There's that call out for mission control as well. As our AX-3 crew continues on their way to space. We're now T plus one minute and 32 seconds into flight. The next event we have is MVAC chill, similar to what- MVAC we, chill underway. There's that call telling us that, again, we're flowing a little bit of that super chilled liquid Stage oxygen. Stage one Bravo. Copy one Bravo. That call there was one of the abort mode call outs that uh, the crew is calling out as they are uh, making their ascent on Falcon 9. Now, we're less than uh, 30 seconds or a few seconds away from four events that will happen in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, as it's there on the bottom of your screen, stage separation, ignition of the first stage engine, and the first stage's boost back burn. Stage one throttle down. That call telling us that the engines are beginning to thr throttle down Nico. Stage separation confirmed. SpaceX Dragon 2 Alpha. Some loud, loud cheers here as we can see that the first, one boost back startup. first and second stages have separated. A beautiful view there. The brighter light is the second stage under power of the MVAC engine. That first stage booster is.